Hello all. I am slowly catching up on uploading videos. I'm trying to do at least one a week, but I also realize that that will put me way behind and these videos will be very dated. Don't fall. You're going to fall off the couch. Anyway, I, I wanted that. Uh, she's leaning. You want down? She's leaning off the couch. Anyway, I wanted to show you. Oh, I've got paint on my face. <laughs> Look at my hand. Oh my gosh. I've been painting. Wow, this camera really does a number on your blemishes. That's awful. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. This is our downstairs living room. So you come through the front door and you can either go up the steps to go upstairs or you can turn right and come into our downstairs living room. Um, it's a mess right now, obviously. We're still in the process of moving. This has been the longest move ever. But it has the same setup window setup. Blah, blah, blah. It has the same window set up as upstairs, except those are like half windows and not whole windows. And when um, our window guy is done replacing all the windows, that will be one long window that opens halfway. So that'll be nice. But I wanted to show you, we have a fireplace back there. So that's all like concrete mud. And there's a pretty, there's a fireplace back there. Um, I'm going to have to get it like cleaned and inspected before the winter comes to make sure it even works because I don't trust it. <laughs> this is our, okay. This is a closet. This is a closet. It's got stuff in it right now. And then there's also a closet under the stairs. One thing I don't know is this closet only goes back to the stairs, but then we have that area and I, it like, I don't know, like, I wonder if it's empty, because that'd be cool, like, put a storage place there. Um, because the garage is on that side of the wall, and it doesn't go under the stairs either. So, I'm like, hmm, what's under the rest of those stairs? But anyway, that's a closet. That's a closet. This was going to be our boys' room. Um, but as you can see, I am actually priming it right now. I've spent all day, I spent like a week or two working on painting the baseboards and the trim uh, because it was this golden brown, chocolate brown color, all of it. And what I didn't realize, my best friend came and helped me paint and we painted this room blue and gray for the boys. And then you come through here and it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. Um, this place is a mess and you're just going to have to excuse it. That is actually the boys closet door, but it's in the girls room. And we painted this room uh, a dark purple and a light purple for the girls. And then I realized, I don't know, how did I realize? I think Brooke said something at one point, but this is the girls' Since room. We had the carpet put in. <laughs> the closet doors and this bathroom door don't close. And the bedroom doors kind of drag on the carpet. So we have to shorten doors, but our lives are so busy. We haven't had time. So I've got loose doors, loose baseboard. We have to actually cut into this wall um, to see uh, a mold damage because there's there's been water damage and we have to see if there's mold inside a plumber is coming and he's going to cut out the ceiling here and fix our bathtub that's above this ceiling um so that we can actually use the bathtub but anyway i think brooke said something once and she said why did the boys get the bigger room and i thought they didn't and then i thought oh my gosh they did <laughs> And I asked my best friend, I said, in all the painting and everything, why did no one tell me? Like, John hadn't said anything. She hadn't said anything. People that helped us move hadn't said anything. I said, why did no one tell me that I I didn't give the girls the bigger room? And she said, I think we all thought you did it on purpose. And I said, uh, no, I didn't. So I'm repainting. And I've apologized to my friend who helped 
helped me paint the first time that I wasted her time and energy and she said no that's fine and she's even offered to come help me repaint um it's kind of cool to have moved here and my best friend is here and my other very close friend is here I wouldn't say we're best yet we've been apart for like eight years so I don't know we're getting there but I love these people to death I told John that uh, last night when I dropped Ty off for youth group and our pastor. Um, I'll have to tell you guys the story of how we got here on a different video. So that might be a sit down video. But anyway, I'm priming a room while, while our window installer has been here doing windows. And it's a mess. It's crazy. I have to lock my dogs up every day that they're here. Uh, because my dogs, you know, hate strangers and the cat would get out because they le they have to leave the doors open and, you know, there's missing windows. And so I've actually got to finish up this video, but they use these big, oh, what did he call it? A jack post, a jack pole. I don't know, but it's like a big, um, he has one set up over here that I'll actually show he has you. has one over here set up with scaffold. That's how he sets up scaffolding. <laughs> Um, and see, they did that one. Oh, he hasn't done the, why didn't he finish the outside of that window? I don't know, but that's my new kitchen window. And this is how he does his scaffolding is it attaches to the roof. Um, or you can attach it to the house and like, he's got his boards over here precariously tied to my deck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's using these big things to get up on the second floor. He's doing my bedroom windows tomorrow, which is nice, but he's done he has done the living room windows and I'll show you the difference in those. Um I don't know if you can tell, but do you see the gray the gray outline here? Those are the windows that he hasn't done. And the new windows are all white. And they look fantastic. And they're easy to open. And they're clean. And oh my gosh, you look at them from the inside and it looks like there isn't even any glass. Like, it looks like you could just reach through it. It's so clear. Um, the windows that we had on the house, he has determined were built in with the house. It wasn't, they built the house and they put the windows in. They literally put the windows in as they built the walls and they were made of steel. They were steel reinforced into the wall. So he's had to do a lot of prying and sawing and oh my goodness, he said he's never seen windows like this before. He said he has never seen windows like this before in the 50 years that he's been doing windows. He said they're crazy. He's never seen anything like it. So they're 30 years old because the house is 30 years old. And they're very ornate, but they, he said they literally would have, to get them like this, oh, there's the cat. They literally would have had to put them in as they were building the wall. And so they're very, the old ones were very hard to get out. Did the kitty go, uh-uh, don't start. letting the dogs out because they're in their kennels they're good the guy is here for about seven hours six or seven hours um that he works he works from 7 30 to this time it was about two about two o'clock um but he works anywhere from 7 30 to 1 30 to 2 30 sometimes <laughs> Uh, it just depends on how quick the windows go. But now that he has an assistant, he was able to get some help from another guy. And see here the window. Look at how clear those are. Oh, look, it just looks like you could just walk up to it and... Uh, but there's glass. But it's just super clean <laughs> for now until my children get to it and the weather gets to it. Um, but yeah. They're super easy to open and I am really loving them. <laughs> Good job.
Yeah, watch where you're going. Watch where you're going. Uh oh. You okay? Uh uh. You up there? Okay, come on. <laughs> Good job. You drawing? Are you drawing? Yeah, no. And what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you say hi? You're having fun? Hi, hi. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you joined that. I, I knew that. Yeah. You're a good boy. How old is he? She. She, she, she. Oh, I know. She. We're yep. giving you a hard time with the blue. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, the blue well, kind of throws. Yeah, but it matches what you got on. Yeah, we're starting to It always matches. Yeah. Yep. She is a year and a half. She'll be, half. She'll oh, be two in August. Well, I can tell you, she's not still like mine was at two. Oh, Lord, he was all over the wall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was hyperactive. So, oh, man. Yeah. You better get a, a run for my money. Oh, um, gosh. Sure, but you made it. <laughs> I, I, made, I think I did. I don't know. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you could see. John's down there mowing. Some of our side yard. We have to cut up that those two trees that are laying there eventually. There's our trampoline. Uh, yeah, John is trying to mow. Little kids are playing on the trampoline. This is our mess from our window project. And I'm very disappointed because I filled those two bird feeders. There's one there and one over here and no birds ever come to them. <laughs> At the other house back where we used to live, I'd have to fill them like once a week. <laughs> mm. So that's where my garden was gonna be, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. grass down there is incredibly green but it's half weeds and then the grass on this side of the house where it grows is <laughs> it's that patchy grass and it's thriving weirdly but when they dug up the septic tank they killed the yard and this gets so muddy um, when it rains I don't know what to do about it there's another tree they took out over there. Sorry about the sun glare. I didn't think of it when I was like, hey, I'm gonna take a little bit of a video. But this is some of our backyard. That's our window guy's ladder. There's mm. my new kitchen window. Oh, John bought me two new hummingbird feeders and I totally forgot about them. It is a new day, but I wanted to, hmm, they don't eat lunch together, but it's super strange. Anyway, I wanted to show you my bird, my hummingbird feeders, because there they are. I wish I could show you the tops of them, but I can't. But this one is metal and it has flowers, and then that one is plastic, but it also has flowers. And I've noticed my hummingbird comes to the red one more. So I don't know if it's because it's red or 
they've got the same water in them. So I have no idea. But those are my new hummingbird feeders. Uh, Phoebe was kind of sad, but I'm not hanging hers back up because it leaks. <laughs> it's plastic. And when the wind blows, it drips like crazy. And we haven't had crazy wind yet. So I don't know if these drip, but so far I haven't seen dripping or evidence of dripping. So those, I just wanted to show you because that was a very odd place to end that video, but that's all I had for that video. This video, I should say, this video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.